In this video, I'm about to give you guys some of the best ways that you guys can start making income with WebXR. If you are a developer and you're looking for a way to start making money online, you got to watch this video. Let's get started. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Show me some love in the comment section. All right, so let's get started with this, man. You know, if you're interested in making some side income, right? Right now is a great opportunity with WebXR, right? You got AR, you got VR. So right now I'm going to give you guys some real practical ideas that any one of you guys can get into and you can start making some income right now as we speak. So let's get into it. First one we got here is digital products. Now, of course you got platforms like this one, like Etsy, Creative Market, where you could go in and start selling your digital products, things like this, right? This is a great example of what you can do, creating a personalized AR, VR art for like a postcard or, you know, a car for Mother's Day or for happy birthday, New Year's, etc. You can go in and create either a service to have people go in and be able to print their own cards, or you could go in and say, hey, we will go and ship to you postcard. And all you really have to do is have the person upload their image or their video. And then from there, you take a still from that video. And then from there, have it printed by a third party company. So again, it is a little process uh, getting this set up. But once you have it set up, it's pretty much like money coming in. Okay, it's literally digital products uh, that you can sell and just rinse and repeat straight up okay especially once you go into like TikTok or you know facebook ads right you get a ugc influencer to go in and create some videos for you you can go and take let's say two dollars into advertisement and make back at least six seven dollars back as far as profit so yes this is something that is really profitable that you guys can definitely get into so again you can see something like this get the person to upload a video take a shot from that video and then from there go in and make it into an interactive experience for that card so yes this is a great way for you guys to start making some money now of course this is not just cars that you can do you can do t-shirts you could go in uh, mouse pads um you could go again you got the postcards you have a uh, posters like i just seen one that was really cool like this one this is something that you guys can do not only just for someone to buy your poster that you created right like the image and then you know of course uh you do some type of animation for it uh, but you could also go in and say you know what we will go and upload a custom picture uh, if your family person is charging $84 for this service, but to be honest with you, this doesn't cost that much at all because technically you're going to spend about $20 on the canvas getting printed. The service, once you already have it set up, all the person has to do is upload their photo or their video and pretty much they get to see, you know, a, a poster on their wall and then anybody can go in and scan it and see automatically a video playing. Now, of course, because of the new glasses that are coming out for augmented reality, you can imagine someone having their glasses and going into someone's house and automatically scanning the photo that's there and seeing the video actually moving. Now, when they take off the glasses, it's just a poster, it's just a canvas, but you got your glasses on, it's actually a video playing. Now, of course, guys, I'm just scratching the surface right now as far as digital products. There's so many different type of digital products that you guys can go and create and physical products that you can go in and add augmented reality to that is just crazy. Okay. So sky's the limit. Do your research, find your niche and stick with it. Okay. You will find success with this. Okay. This is the new wave guys. So let's go to the next one that I have here. And it's of course, freelancing. Okay. Now, of course you can always go in and open up an account on fiber upwork, right. And any other job board or gig economy website that's out there. All right. Now, of course you also have the local businesses, right. That you might go in and reach out to and say, Hey, I can provide a service for you. Right. So yes. And of course, if you become somebody who has a name or become an authority in this field, you can definitely start getting, you know, clients hitting you up commission you for certain type of services so again you have situations like this where dudes is charging you know three hundred dollars to go in and create 
a model of a furniture, right? And from there, they will go in and, and show it to the person and create the experience where when they go to the store, someone can go in and say, hey, I want to see how this will look on my actual house, right? So that's just like one of the small little services that you can go in and get into. There's multiple things that you can, you know, niche down as far as like the services that you provide. So again, always think about uh, freelancing. So yeah, so that's number two, right? And that's like a no brainer. Now let's talk about software as a service. This is where some of you guys is going to make a killing. Now I'm putting this last, right? I put everything from the easiest thing to the mid-level, right, to now the most hardest, right? And, and it's because for a reason, right? I want you guys to get started, right, with the simplest thing, which is digital products. Then from there, you got freelancing, right? But creating a software as a service is going to be the most profitable thing, but it's going to take the most amount of work. So I want you to keep that in mind. But let me give you some good ideas, okay? Take, for example, the restaurant industry, right, the hospitality industry. And you say, well, when you go to Chili's, there's usually a thing called a table side, which is pretty much like a small tablet that people can go in and actually basically play games, right? They could order on the menu through here. They could also pay for this, right? Now, imagine this. You go and create this, but for smaller business. This is a huge company. Chili's is huge. But there's a lot of small businesses that are not having this type of service because this costs a lot of money for them. But you can go and do the exact same thing and offer them something better, which is, hey, you have your menu, you scan your menu, and guess what? Now your phone becomes one of these, a table side, right? In there, you have games, you have a menu where you can order things, right? And let's say, for example, you have another kiosk in the back where you could say maybe you have a point of sale from Shopify, right, which is pretty modern. And again, you could use all of this through APIs and connect all of this. Okay. Now, again, you have this table side kiosk for the person and it's now on their phone. Okay. So this person could go in and have, let's say, a game of tic-tac-toe or, you know, connect four. Right? And all of this could be in augmented reality. Not only do you have your phone right here right, with the menu and being able to pay and being able to order everything, but then you could also go in and say, hey, let's play a game. There's no physical things, right? It's just, let's say, you, your son, right, or you know, whoever, you and your friends, and y'all playing tic-tac-toe, connect four, right? So again, small games like this, you can go in and, and basically provide small businesses with this type of service because believe it or not, there's so many different small businesses that don't have access to a kiosk or a table side, right? Again, you have things like a food truck business, you have the taqueria, you have uh, you know the small little restaurant that recently just opened up, right? They don't have the money to go in and pay for this, the one that Chili has. And they don't need to have that money right now. Guess what? Because you're going to serve them with a service that you could charge $100 a month and say, hey, all of this is virtual, right? You could go in and say, I charge per table, let's say $50 per table that you have. And that's it. That's all you, you're really paying for. Or you could come up with a better pricing for them that's more competitive for like small businesses. You could say, well, guess what? You got a small business. You know, you don't got that many people that come in here on a monthly basis. Let's go in and charge you $200 a month. You go in and you sign 10 restaurants or 10 food trucks. Guess what? That's $2,000 that you're making. And we haven't even started with talking about what if you provide the equipment. I give you this great example. Again, I'm a father. I go to restaurants. When I go to a restaurant, what's the first thing that they do in restaurants? They come in, they give me a menu. It's a piece of paper, and that menu is for kids, right? That's the kids' menu. They could actually draw in there with crayons, right, et cetera, right? But what if they provide you with equipment, meaning, hey, here's a phone. Here's an Android phone. It only costs us $50, Right now, mind you, this is for you. You go in and you say, well, I'm going to provide you with the software. I'm going to provide you with the equipment. And then now every single table can go in and have a 
a personalized phone or a personalized tablet. It only costs you initially $50 to get a phone. Now from there, you will go in and say, hey, we're going to charge you $15 a month for equipment, okay? Which it doesn't sound like much, but when you go in and you say, well, that's pretty much, let's say, I don't know, let's say you give them 20 phones, right? 20 times 50, that's about $1,000. Uh, you're getting paid $15 per equipment. So let's say you're going in and you say, well, $15 a month uh, per equipment. So let's say 15 times 20, right? That's $300, meaning that within three to four months, you already made your, your PC. You already made your money back on the equipment that you provided to them, okay? So again, this is like, the sky's the limit, okay? This is the moment where we separate the, the children from the adults, okay? This is when you go in and say, well, right, if you start using this, right, you can come up with so many different ideas and so many different ways that you can make profit with this new technology. And keep this in mind, we still just scratching the surface right now. Because the same example that I just gave you can go in and be reused for other industries. Let's talk about events. People are waiting. Guess what? You could have a service that they could have the multiplayer games. They could have all of these things already set up for them, right? Or something like, let's say, a wedding, right? You could go in and set up a whole business just around that. Let's talk about, you know, the healthcare system. That's another waiting thing that you're just there waiting until they call you up. Guess what? That whole process, you can go in and create a service for that. Literally scan this right here, put in all your information. Guess what? You're good to go. Oh, you're waiting here. Play a little tic-tac-toe. Play a little Pac-Man. Play a little this, this, and that. Again, I'm just scratching the surface. We're rubbing the tip. We haven't gone in yet. <laughs> but I can tell you right now that this is the moment. This is the moment where, you know, some people's going to make a lot of money and some people's going to stand around looking like sucking on their thumb. Like, damn, I wish I could have just jumped on that. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is a great opportunity. I look at this like when the iPhone dropped, right? The first iPhone. A lot of people made a lot of money with, you know, creating applications and creating services just using iPhone and Android early stages. The first people that were in there, the what I call the pilgrims. They made their bread, okay? There's a lot of people that made their bread initially just by creating uh, small applications and small services. This is just the beginning, guys. I can tell you guys this is just the beginning. Now, of course, guys, if you're interested in this, right, and you still don't know about WebXR and you're looking to learn, the best thing that you could do is come to codingphase.com, okay? This is where we teach you everything that has to do with web development. We focus on making sure we look for opportunities. I spend more time doing research than doing anything else. I spend more time looking for the new opportunities that are popping up that no one is paying attention to. So we could always be the first one to, you know, take those, those wins. Okay. So again, this is not something that you're going to be able to learn in one course. I'm being honest with you guys. This is a series of courses. Let's say you are starting from zero. You don't know how to code. Guess what? You still got to go through the whole process of learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, was a text editor, right? Um, how to use the terminal, all of those things. You're still going to have to go through it. That's web development. This is part of web development, okay? So you're going to have things like content editor, HTML, email developer. Those things is going to prepare you to get to this point, okay? But even right now, once we drop and we add this new section that's going to be here this week, okay, where it's going to say XR development, it's a whole curriculum, you will see all of the courses that you will need, right, to be able to be able to go in, into XR, right? Because it's not going to be something like, hey, let me just take a one XR course. No, you need to have a series of of skills to be able to do this, right? Not only do you need the fundamentals of web development, but then now we're talking about knowing how to actually create applications in a 3D space, knowing how to actually do some full stack of development, right? Knowing how to use certain frameworks that are needed for this type of application. So for example, A-Frame, 
uh, a four, right? Um, using three JS, maybe using some, uh, Babylon JS. Like there's so many different things and so many skills that you're going to need for this. Now, again, I don't want to scare you guys, but it's a series of courses. It's the same thing as when you come in and you say, Hey, I want to become a Shopify theme developer. Guess what? You don't just start at Shopify. You need to actually have the skills from here to here to be able to start doing Shopify theme development. That's what makes us different at codingphase.com guys. We teach you the whole process, no matter where you're at. If you right now, you got two, three years, five years, 10 years in the game as a developer, when you come to codingphase.com, guess what? You know, all this fundamentals, you could start right here. My first Shopify theme store, right? Same thing for somebody that's going to come in. They could start with introduction to XR. Okay. That's where you're going to start. But for somebody that started from zero, they can easily come in and get everything from the fundamentals and learn everything that they need to be able to start making XR content and XR experiences. Okay. So yes, this is a platform that goes in and holds your hand and shows you the whole process. We don't teach to code. Okay. You could go to free code camp. You could go to Udemy for that. You could go on YouTube, learn how to code, right? You can learn how to do syntax, you know, do a little for loop and a while loop. You could do that anywhere. We teach people the process of getting jobs, right? Exactly what you need to get the job position, exactly what you need to be able to create applications, exactly what you need to be able to start making side income as a developer. We show you the full process. It's not just, hey, let me show you how to do a little for loop and good luck and you figure it out from there. No, we go in and build the whole process, show you exactly what you're going to do on the job, show you exactly what it takes to build a software as a service. So you're going to see the full picture. Again, this is coding phase, guys. This is not your, your average platform. This is what makes it special. All right, guys. So anyways, man, like I said, if you want to go check it out, we're about to launch this new XR uh, career path. If you're interested in that, go check it out. If you're already learning XR, guys, use all of those tips that I just gave you in this video. Use some of those things that I, I mentioned. You know, you got, uh, of course, digital products, freelancing, and software as a service, right? And also taking it up a notch and providing equipment for companies to be able to use your service and charging them uh, for that. So again, I'm giving you guys a lot of gems in this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about this. Okay. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. This is where we start using this. Okay. I'm letting you guys know you either boss up or you're going to get bossed around in this new season. Okay. Remember that you either going to boss up or you're going to get bossed around. There's a lot of people that have really good ideas that don't even know how to code but they work hard and they know how to implement all of these things and will hire a developer and pay you the pennies and the little crumbs and they get the whole loaf of bread. You want to be the guy getting the whole loaf of bread? Start thinking outside the box, okay? The idea of finding out what's fast or for loop or while loop, that shit is going to put you in this little box. You work for somebody for the rest of your life. It's time for you to start using your brain, start thinking about how to make money and create you know, opportunities for yourself. Don't let someone else monetize your skills. You monetize it yourself. See you guys later. It's your boy, Joe. Peace.